It's my pleasure here in the laboratory to present to you the SAS air sampler and how it's used, just to show you how simple it is. This is a plastic autoclavable head cover, which is to protect it while you're doing the manipulations. We'll take the stainless steel head off. We're now going to take one of the um, Thermo Scientific Rommel brand contact plates. We're going to put it in place so it's a nice tight fit. Take the plate off. We're now ready to pull from the air through this 316 stainless steel head a sample of whatever is in the air. It's what they call a uh, direct impaction air sampler. Put this on. Again, for sterility assurance, we have this autoclave plastic head cover. I lift it off. We're now all set to sample with the SAS. I'm going to turn it on. And while we turn it on, it runs through the um, site ID operator, the volume to be sampled, serial number of the instrument. And we're all set. We're going to sample by pressing this start button. And as you can hear, we're now sampling. We're sampling 180 liters of air per minute. I have it set for a 50 liter sample. It's going to be very quick. The uh, typical clean room would sample a thousand liters, so you can do this in five and a half minutes. Again, very speedy. You can hear the confirmatory beep at the end. Know the monitoring is done. We would come over, put our plastic cap back on, unscrew the stainless steel head. By physically inspecting the plate, you can see that you had impaction onto the auger, and you have confirmation that you've gathered a sample. For sterility assurance, put the top on our plate, and this will go to the incubator for one to five days, at the end of which they can see whether or not there's contamination present uh, in the area where they sample. And this is a very nice compressed gas test head. It's the same basic stainless steel head that you just saw, but it has a long nose. And we're just simply gonna use the exact same direct impaction principle. Screw on the stainless steel head, tie on tubing from the end of this to a bleed point on compressed gas line, open up the compressed gas line, run our sample from the um, um, air onto the contact plate, and we'll do that for roughly a thousand liters of air, and we're then done with testing the compressed gas. So this is a nice accessory that comes with the SAS. This, this is our aluminum carrying case. See how nicely protected the unit is. In addition, if you're doing compressed gas testing, you have the compressed gas tested, which fits perfectly in this custom cut die cut. This is the uh, battery charger which very simply is available in 110 or 220 volt, depending on the country where this is going. The, uh, there's actually a set of keys. You can lock it, send it to us, and then we unlock it at the other end, making it very easy to transport. Lastly, this is an accessory of people, instead of using the uh, stainless steel heads, wish to use a plastic disposable head. This is the so-called daily head. And this is one mode of shipping it to customers. Many of our customers would like to use the uh, SAS throughout a hospital, for example, or environmental monitoring in a, um, say, an office building, prefer this case. It's a very nice soft-sided case. The battery charger, which goes into a nice little pocket. The air sampler would go in. And we're now set to march off and do our air sampling. So we have in front of us the uh, Petri plates, triptych soy auger, readily available from your Thermo Scientific representative. This is a double bagged contact plate, which is our preferred way of sampling because of its ease of use, ease of manipulation. Um, it was designed for the SAS specifically. And then if you're dealing, for example, in an incubator, we have this triple bag product, another excellent product. Contact your Thermo Scientific uh, representative for any of these products. Um, I might add that Bioscience International has a lot of application notes to guide you in different industries as which type of selective media you would uh, contact them to purchase. Thank you.